Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time there were three bears Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear and Baby Bear Daddy Bear was very big Baby Bear was very small and Mummy Bear was not very big and not very small She was middle sized The three bears lived in a little house in the forest Every day the bears ate porridge for breakfast. One day Daddy Bear said in his deep Daddy Bear voice, Our porridge is too hot. Let's go for a walk in the forest while it cools down. So the three bears went out for a walk in the forest. At the same time, somebody else was walking in the forest. A little girl with golden hair. Do you know her name? It was Goldilocks. She was called Goldilocks because her hair was the colour of gold. Goldilocks saw the porridge on the table. There was a big bowl for Daddy Bear, a middle-sized bowl for Mummy Bear and a small bowl for Baby Bear. Goldilocks was very hungry. First, she tasted Daddy Bear's porridge, but she did not like it because it was too salty. I don't like this porridge, it's too salty, Goldilocks said. Then, she tasted Mummy Bear's porridge, but she did not like it at all because it was too sweet. There was too much sugar in it. I don't like this porridge, it's too sweet, Goldilocks said. Next, she tasted Baby Bear's porridge. Mmm, 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 she said. I like this porridge, it is just right. And she ate all Baby Bear's porridge. After all that porridge, Goldilocks felt like she needed a rest. She looked around and saw three chairs. First, she sat in Daddy Bear's chair, but it was too hard. She got off the chair and said, I don't like this chair, it's too hard. Next, Goldilocks sat in Mummy Bear's chair, but it was too soft. She got off the chair and said, I don't like this chair, it's too soft. And then she sat on Baby Bear's chair and it was just right. And she said, I like this chair, it's just right. But do you know what happened? Goldilocks was too big for the chair and the chair broke and Goldilocks fell onto the floor. Oh dear. Poor Goldilocks and poor Baby Bear's chair. Goldilocks was tired now and she wanted to sleep. Where was she going to sleep? Can she sleep on the table? No. Can she sleep on Baby Bear's chair? No. Why? Because it's broken. Do you know where she's going to sleep? Goldilocks looked for a bed to sleep in. She found the bedroom and there she saw three beds. Father's bed was very big. Mummy's bed was middle sized and Baby Bear's bed was very small. Goldilocks got into Daddy Bear's bed but it was too hard. She climbed off the bed and said, I don't like this bed, it's too hard. Next, Goldilocks got onto Mummy Bear's bed, but it was too soft. She climbed off and said, I don't like this bed, it's too soft. And then Goldilocks got onto Baby Bear's bed. She lay down and pulled the blanket up and said, I like this bed, it's just right. Goldilocks closed her eyes and went to sleep. While Goldilocks was asleep, the three bears came home. They were hungry. 
Daddy Bear looked at his bowl of porridge. He was cross and he said in his deep Daddy Bear voice, Who's been eating my porridge? Mummy Bear looked at her porridge. She was cross too and she said, Who's been eating my porridge? And Baby Bear looked at his bowl. He was very cross indeed and he said, Who's been eating my porridge? And he said, It's all gone. <laughs> the bears looked at their chairs. Daddy Bear said, Who's been sitting on my chair? Mummy Bear said, Who's been sitting on my chair? And Baby Bear looked at his chair and said, Who's been sitting in my chair? And look, it's broken! The bears went into the bedroom. Daddy Bear looked at his bed and said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? Mummy Bear looked at her bed and said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? And Baby Bear looked at his bed and said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? He looked again and said, There she is! Goldilocks got such a fright she jumped out of bed and ran to the window. She climbed out of the window and she ran and ran and ran. The three bears never saw Goldilocks again. And that is the end of the story. Borida! Sinky, have you? Happis? Trist? Bleen? Gwirion? Well, I'm feeling very happy today because I've just finished the story for you of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I hope you enjoyed the story. Now I've got a task for you today and for this week. I would like you to make your very own puppets. Now I used puppets, finger puppets and Barbies for my story. Here are my puppets. Goldilocks, Baby Bear, Daddy Bear and Mummy Bear. I was a bit lazy, I didn't make my own. But what I'd like you to do this week is to make your own puppets. Okay, I would like a Goldilocks, I would like a Daddy Bear, a Mummy Bear and a Baby Bear. Because next week I'd like you to use those puppets to retell the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Do you think you can do it for me? Okay, so you can make the puppets in any way you want. I will be print, uh, putting a printout on the internet for you. If you don't want to use that, those, that's fine. I'm sure you've got lots of lovely crafty things that you can use at home. So you could paint, or you could colour in, or you could do a collage and stick things, okay? It's totally up to you. But one thing I do want to ask you is no scrunchy, scratchy, richy, ratchies. You know what I mean, don't you? No scribbling. I want really good pictures, okay? Trying your best. Try not to go over those lines, okay? So, your task this week is to make some puppets. I can't wait to see them. I hope you're all okay. Speak to you soon. Well, bye.